What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Beale Street Audio's commercial amplifiers, the BAV4250 and the 2500. Now I'm only going to unbox one of these since you get exactly the same thing inside. What we have here are some rack mounts with some mounting screws, the power cord, and what we have here is the installation guide. Size-wise, they both measure in at 16.93 inches wide, by 2.17 inches high, by 12.6 inches deep. The 2500 weighs in at 12.57 pounds, and the 4250 weighs 13.67 pounds. As the model numbers would imply, the 2500 is 2 channels by 500 watts each, and the 4250 is 4 channels at 250 watts each. Up front, you'll find the main power switch, the channel selection buttons with the LED indicators for signal, clip indicator, and protection LED. In the center is the LED display, back button, and a rotary control to navigate the settings. Around back is the LAN input, unbalanced RCA inputs, and balanced inputs. On the right side are the speaker outputs. To hook up your speakers, you'll have to loosen up the terminal with a small screwdriver. Insert your bare wire and retighten the screw. As mentioned before, this is a commercial amplifier, so there aren't any binding posts or XLR inputs like you'd find on a home theater amp. For my usage, since I don't have a large commercial space, I just hook these up to an Emotiva XMC2 using the RCA inputs on the amps. For setup, the amplifiers have a web-based user interface. That's if you don't want to use the tiny LED display. All you have to do is grab the amplifier's IP address by going into the device info. Drop that into a web browser and enter admin for both username and password. You can change this later on. What we're looking at here is the 4250. You can see these are the four channel ins, and here are your speaker outputs. If you want, you can redirect any input into any speaker output. Let's say I want channel one to come out of every speaker. All you have to do is select it. It's really simple and really flexible. In the center here is the mixer with level controls for each channel, and level meters are on the right side. Under DSP, you can turn on the high pass filter from 20 to 20,000 K. All you have to do is highlight HPF if you want to use this feature. There's also bass and treble controls for each channel. If you need a little more than bass and treble, there is a 3 band PEQ for each channel for more granular control. Once you get all your settings right, you can either save them to the amplifier itself or on a computer. Under output configuration, you can specify if your speakers are 4 to 8 ohms, or either 70 or 100 volts. You have network configuration, password settings if you want to change it from its default, and the about page. As for the sound, as I had mentioned before, I hooked them up in my home theater using the XMC2. Once they really get going, the fan can kick on pretty loud. If you're at a moderate level, it just purrs along. The amps are more than powerful enough to drive my speakers, although there is a slight hiss if you put your ears up to the speakers, but it's something you won't hear while playing content. If you're driving some in-wall speakers for your business or even some passive subwoofers, then these Bill Street amps will definitely do the job. There's some great flexibility with the matrix mode, and the built-in EQ is a plus. The web-based interface is super easy to use, and you don't even have to be there in person to change any settings or to troubleshoot. If you'd like to pick these up, they're retailing for $1550 for the BAV4250 and $1440 for the 2500 at the time of this video. Now if you guys need any more info on these amps, we'll leave some links for them in the video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching, give this video a like if you found it useful, 
and be sure to swing by our Patreon page for exclusive content. Be sure you visit our site at audioholics.com, and remember, keep listening.